Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So if you're looking into releasing your music on Spotify, Apple Music, and so forth, then you've most likely heard of the term LUFS or loudness measuring before. What that means is that you have to uh, meet a certain loudness criteria of these streaming platforms in order to have your music not attenuated or gained up by these algorithms, potentially be tempered with, which might have some undesired results. If we go to this really cool website, Mastering the Mix, you can see the different loudness targets that exist for streaming platforms. And of course, it's very hard to meet these targets all at once if you're using like a distributor, an aggregator to get all of your music out there to these various streaming platforms but still you kind of want to meet in the middle I would say so if we see that Spotify has a target loudness of minus 14 LUFS and Apple Music is around minus 16 uh, YouTube is around minus 13 to minus 15 it's probably good to in general just aim for those kind of values between minus you know, minus 14 and uh, minus 15 potentially, just so that your music would not have to be overly normalized by the algorithms. So how do you measure that? Well, we have some really cool tools in Studio One to do that. For one, you have the target loudness, which is part of the export mixdown menus on both the song page as well as the project page. I've covered that already in a separate tutorial that I'm gonna link right here. So just to reiterate, to find that, you go to song, export mixdown, and here you can specify your desired loudness. You can also um, set your max true peak level. Usually that would be around minus one decibels. Another thing you can do already in the mixing process itself is measure the LUFS in real time. And to do that, we can use the level meter. That's what I want to show you today. So the level meter is the stock plugin that comes with Studio One and you find that in the effect section of the Studio One browser. You can drag and drop that into any channel. And for this case, it probably makes the most sense to just insert that directly onto my main out here. Make sure that's the last effect on the chain. And here we have a couple of options. By default, it's set to true peak, which can be useful, but to measure LUFS, you actually have to set that to R128. That's the Evo loudness standard that measures loudness in LUFS. Also make sure that you have LUFS selected here. And what you can do then is click on this level meter. This is something that you can do in various um, Studio One plugins actually. And this will expand this micro view where you can directly see the LUFS and monitor that at all times. So if I hit play here, I'm able to read out the LUFS in real time. I could pin that also or close it. I mean, I have this mini view where I can see the LUFS at all times. And then open up the limiter and potentially reduce the gain a bit to be closer to that minus 15 target. A single click here always resets the value in real time, which makes it easier to monitor this. Now, a scenario where this can be useful is if you want to know already at the mixing stage what your sound is going to be like after uploading to one of these streaming platforms. And this is just a quick method to double check that in the mixing stage already can be useful at times. And if you're looking for a faster way to insert that level meter, you'd first have to create a preset with your desired level meter settings. So once again, if I insert the level meter onto the main out, and I set it to R128, make sure that LUFS is selected, and I expand the micro view here, then I can save that as a new preset. I can call that LUFS metering, for instance. Hit OK, and this is something that I can now insert with a hotkey, like a keyboard shortcut via a macro. This is why the macro functionality of Studio One is so great. So to find that, you go to the Studio One macro organizer, click on New, and then search Add Insert. And here you should find the command add insert to select the channels dot dot dot. The three dots mean that you can specify this command further with the macro functionality. So you double click to add that to your macro. You double click again. And here you can now select either an effects chain or a plugin device with a selectable preset. So let me just go for the level meter here. I just search the level meter. There it is. And select my brand new LUFS metering preset. Hit OK. And now call that, for instance, uh, 
quick LUFS double check or something like that. Now you can confirm that with OK. And when we open up the keyboard shortcuts of Studio One, you can now search for double check, for instance, or check. And uh, here's the macro that we've just created. And that can be assigned to any hotkey of your choice. I'm just going to go for this one. And now on any channel, I can just go ahead, select that channel, hit that keyboard shortcut, and that level meter is going to be inserted directly. There's all kinds of applications where this can be useful. I mean, that keyboard shortcut procedure that I've just shown you can also be used to directly insert a low cut or something like that, or your favorite compression settings, your favorite delay settings, you name it. And it's just a general amazing help to make your workflow a lot faster. So hopefully you can take something away from this that's relevant to your production workflow. And thank you for watching.